Hey, purpose seekers and healers. It's me, Unfounded, at Unfounded Purpose Podcasting, for which I call it. I'm here today to give you guys, first of all, the sign of Capricorn. Yay. Your full moon lunar eclipse and Gemini messages. Okay, Capricorn, I hope you guys are staying positive. You guys are keeping your spirits uplifted despite what's going on around you. That you guys are healing yourself just by replacing negative thoughts with positive ones. Negative people, places and things, memories, replacing the negative and putting the positive in the place of that negative. Mm-hmm, child. But one thing I do want Capricorns to do is celebrate. We almost in 2021. Gets greater later, y'all. So while I get your message cards together, celebrate yourself. Give yourself a round of applause for making it through this 2020 Envision. Unvision. Didn't vision this. But 2021 is going to be a greater vision for you. Greater life. Better experiences. Blessings. Abundance. Come on. Yes, Capricorn. I will be delivering one of your messages today using the Earth Warrior Oracle cards. Yes, child. So let's jump right into it. Cosmos, hey. It's unfounded again. How y'all doing? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Universe. Ancestors, Creator, Divine Guide, Spirit Angels, please provide me with the message for Capricorn. I got two. I only need one. One message. Two messages keep coming out. Maybe because my cards are stuck together. If two messages come out again, crap point, it must just be meant for me to give you two messages, child. And I'm going to go and listen to what the universe tells me to do, child, because I don't run nothing. All right. Okay. So you know I'm working on the pronunciation of these Earth Warrior cards. I have been in practice. We all are learning still here. Help me learn, I help you learn. We're learning in progress. So it says, die, 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 die. Otherwise it says, hearing truth. All right, let me go ahead to your message book so I can deliver you your message for this full moon lunar eclipse in Gemini. Mm-hmm. Child, they got something to say to you, Capricorn. Hearing truth. There is a deeper truth that shall bring peace to your heart, offering your guidance, comfort, and renewal. You are guided to turn within for your answers. Do not allow another to interpret, influence, or destroy your personal trusting relationship with the divine. Allow great spirit to be your inner higher counsel always, and you shall never be led astray. You shall know the words to speak and the consciousness to hold to invoke healing and set things right. Listen for deep within. Truth is known. 
You have an intuitive ability to recognize truth of the spirit. Da, 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 ra is an Australian Aboriginal term for the deep spiritual practice of reflective and respectful listening. It is a deep listening for truth beyond physical words and their logical meaning. It is the way the shaman hears with the soul. Through the power of his or her own inner experience, the shaman is able to create spiritual wisdom for the community, bringing balance and unity between the realism of great spirit and our earth. As one who holds the potential power of the shaman, is it part of your soul journey? It is a part of your soul journey to seek out deeper meaning, to never assume that the whole truth is revealed in what another one says. Instead, to listen carefully, sometimes even for the truth evidence in what is not being said, but being communicated in other ways. Others will naturally be drawn to you for counsel, but you must be sure that loving wisdom is the source through which your counsel is gleaned. Part of the somatic life path involves mystery over the extremes of existence. Energy, highs, followed by crushing fatigue, feeling taxed beyond your limits of body and mind, perhaps even an experience of near death or symbolic death of the personality, a profounding challenging illnesses in body or mind or a period of spiritual darkness, which eventually leads you to a healing rebirth. These are all possible ways that the somatic soul can progress through its training. Such challenges are a form of intimidation, teaching the soul to become able to consciously contain and channel energy according to its will, rather than being tossed about by the force of the world. It takes time, but eventually the soul learns to live from a place of inner balance and spiritual grounding. The shaman is empowered to guide others through what has been mastered, moderating and containing what is required for healing. This invokes balance in the lives of those they touch. Soul training in the somatic ways happens through your your life experiences. It may or may not involve official training as a shaman, but in some ways you will be taught and guided by an initial teacher. Training includes the experience of altered states of consciousness to feed the need of your soul to expand beyond the restrictions of everyday reality and feel genuinely connected and supported by a vaster spiritual reality. Altered states can include intuition, visions, hearing messages from great spirits, and an ability to recognize and interpret signs of higher guidance. This is preparation for dealing with forces that are not visible to most and yet have palpable effects in the minds and hearts of many souls disconnected from their divine support system. Your altered states are fulfilled fulfilling their intent purpose when they bring healing. When it is the right time for you, Great Spirit will bring you the necessary guides and teachers in the spirit and the physical world so that you can learn how to safely enter into and ground out of expand states of awareness. This will increase your ability to hear and channel the messages of the Great Spirit. Trust that your heart will recognize your two teachers, which will not allow, which will not always be those that claim to be your true teacher, as you participate fully in your unfunding, unfolding journey with trust. So to summarize that up, is that you're the hearer of the truth within yourself, within what the spirit provides to you, Capricorn. Necessarily hearing from other people 
will also provide you the truth. However, intuitively, you will be able to understand and also to know fully, completely, that that person is there to teach you or provide you with the truth for your spirit to carry on purposely, for your purpose, basically, for your journey. And that is to intellectually give it to yourself first and then pass it on to others to become a leader in that and being able to give those people whomever is brought to you the truth so they can find truth and then into their spirit world as well okay so one more message that i'm going to provide you that was simply beautiful just lets you know how in tune and how um spiritually guided that you are and and, and you you also have a purpose to guide and take other people to know guide other people into their spiritually hearing the truth and knowing so you're divinely guided basically all right and so i just want to give you a message from the universe it's the deck that i'm going to use and that will be your last message and it already came out wow <laughs> Wow, Capricorn, you guys are powerful. Through par prayer and meditation, I create a ripple effect on of peace in the world. See? Spirit is telling you. Through prayer and meditation, I create a ripple effect of peace in the world. How powerful you are, Capricorn. I appreciate you all taking out the time to join me here at Unfounded Purpose Podcasting, for which I call it, I am unfounded. Make sure that you guys are staying within the spirit. You guys are um, seeking spiritual guidance. You are definitely protected. So you can go ahead and pass that same gifts to other people. I appreciate you. Stay positive. Don't get too connected in the worldly things, even though you're in the world. Until next time.